Okay, I'm going to show you to, how to construct an angle bisector. First you need an angle, so I'm going to use my straight edge. And I need two sides to make an angle. And then to construct an angle bisector, you're going to use the gold dot and place it on the vertex of your angle. And you're going to choose a dot to make an arch that's going to cut through both sides. And this is showing you an equal distance up each side of the angle. So from this intersection point and from this intersection point, you're going to choose a dot. So align your gold, point, gold ring up with the intersection. You're going to choose a dot that's more than halfway across the angle. So I'm going to pick this one. And then using that same dot, you put your gold ring on the other intersection. And I have to use that same dot. Where they cross, you're going to connect that intersection back to the vertex to make your angle bisector. And don't forget, if you're making an angle bisector, you split an angle in half, so you need to mark both as being congruent. If instead I wanted to construct an in-center, that would mean I had a triangle to start with. So I'm going to make this a triangle. And you just have to construct another angle bisector from each vertex. So I'm going to start with this vertex down here. I put my gold ring on the vertex, and then I make an arch that cuts through the angles, I mean through the sides. So that arch cuts through these two sides. Then I line my gold ring up with each intersection point on the side. That's more than halfway, so I'm going to use this dot again. Line your gold dot up on the other side. Using the same size arch. Find where they intersect. Where they intersect, you connect that back to the vertex. Since I bisected the angle, I need congruent markings. This is not necessarily the same size as that one, so I'm using two arches. And the in-center is located where the two angle bisectors So that's one angle bisector, and here's the other angle bisector. Where those two meet, which is right here, that's called the in-center.